Meek Mill criticized WAC 100 on X earlier this weekend, saying that he wasn't who he claimed to be. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The rapper posted a video of a man disputing WAC's claims to be a genuine Peru. Never been to a support the hood day nobody can verify where you came from talking a lot on Clubhouse yeah he in a program for sure for sure. Meek wrote. Online with with fake extortion stories speaking on killing a famous person lol. Subsequently, Meek posted a video of Loose Cannon and WAC 100 on No Jumper, implying that they were lying. WAC quickly responded, even if it's still unknown why Meek Mill chose to call him out in this manner. WAC posted a video on Instagram showing Diddy approaching Meek Mill in a swimming pool and addressing him as Daddy. You doing it, man? You deserve it, Daddy. Intriguing audio that appears to include the two of them was also included, though it hasn't been verified. At Meek Mill, please explain, guess this was your hood day hashtag Diddy get your mans. He captioned the post. Of course, WAC has been trolling Meek since fans began to speculate that he's named in Rodney Lil Rod Jones' lawsuit against Diddy. In the suit, Lil Rod alleges that Diddy had a sexual relationship with a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. On Monday, 50 Cent posted a News Nation article on Instagram stating that Diddy was sued by a drug gang member for allegedly refusing to transport kids. The outlet claims that self-described Sinaloa drug cartel member Alfredo P. Gonzalez tried to sue Diddy and Bad Boy Entertainment for allegedly damaging his reputation by using his contacts in the New York drug trade. Chief U.S. District Judge Laura Taylor Swain quickly dismissed the case despite his demand for $666,000 in damages. Okay, I have seen it all WTF is going on here. 50 captioned a screenshot of the headline. In the comments section, fans joked about 50's deep hatred for Diddy. Regarding Swain's decision in Gonzalez's case, the judge contended that it lacked fundamental legal standing because the injuries were the result of unlawful activity and are not legally protected. She also thought the claims lacked an arguable basis either in law or in fact, which made them untrustworthy. She even turned down his attempt to change the case, saying it was too late. Hurricane Chris, a native of Shreveport, Louisiana, called out Fiddy for not inviting local performers to his Humor and Harmony Festival. But 50 Cent isn't taking his criticism seriously, and is mocking the Louisiana. Do a motherfucking concert in Louisiana and don't book no Louisiana legends. The G-Unit mogul taunting Chris and posting two memes in response to his extended tirade was his usual tactic. Nobody likes the records that you play, all right? It's just completely whack. Hurricane Flex, he wrote alongside a snippet from Juice. Boy, your ST is whack. The F you think you at Freda Bang. Your ST gets no play in my ride. LOL, Frito Bang, a musician from Louisiana, retaliated as well by mentioning that he had played at Humor and Harmony. He questioned the rapper of Bebe in a video that he uploaded to Instagram. Hurricane, he ain't book no Louisiana artists, no Louisiana legends. Who the fuck I am then? 50 Cent doubled back with another meme, this time from Menace 2 Society. Put that in for me. You know that shit gets no play in this ride. Oh no, you're not gonna play that one song you got. He captioned the clip. Bebe just went on stage with Master PLOL. But Hurricane Chris was not amused by 50 Cent's trolling. In a new tirade, he called Fifth Opportunist and a culture vulture on Instagram. You just a culture vulture ass nigga that seen some shit for sale. You big dummy, you just prove my point. You don't know about the city. Shreveport this and I just said I got one song. I go all the way back to 5 Entertainment. That's how I know you don't know ST about the city. In addition, 50 Cent was called a culture vulture by Hurricane Chris for taking advantage of a place he has no knowledge of. In response to 50 Cent's claims that he is a one-hit wonder, he stated that he had music dating back to 2005 and that a new mixtape featuring Boosie Badaz is on the way. Several celebs showed up to celebrate at 50 Cent's Humor and Harmony weekend event in Shreveport, Louisiana. My nigga, that shit was Diddy for all that bread, nigga. He likely couldn't be happier with who showed up, as evidenced by a recently popular video that purports to show how many people he wanted there. <laughs> Furthermore, at the celebration in the midst of the producer's legal battle with Diddy, Uncle Murder ran across Lil Rod, who even blasted the executive for owing him money. Want that money by Monday, Diddy. Hey everyone was invited, it was the place to be that weekend. What you want me to do? LOL, Fifth reacted to this development online. This isn't shocking, given the animosity the G-Unit magnate has toward his bad boy competitor. Regarding that rivalry, we'll see what more Instagram antics occur next. A significant development in the continuing conflict between the former members of G-Unit emerged yesterday. They claimed that Young Buck had amassed sufficient funds to settle his debt with 50 Cent. The $250,000 comes from a loan that the head of G-Unit obtained in order to help Buck. Speaking of which, after a rough 2019 due to life circumstances, the latter was forced to file for bankruptcy in 2020. The rapper from Nashville, Tennessee needed a considerable amount of time to find the money. But for Buck, things finally appear to be improving. 
Regretfully, he had to sell a number of priceless things in order to do this. In the end, Buck had to give up things like diamonds, fancy automobiles, and his catalog in order to please 50. He was also able to pay the IRS the $190,000 he owes them for child support because all of this was able to go for more than a million dollars. Young Buck can now regain his footing after years of bouncing back and forth online, and a very low moment in his career. But you know that Fifth will always have the final say when it comes to him. The Massacre MC reshared the article from the publication on his Instagram with a caption after learning about this news from all hip hop. The skilled troll said, I don't know why they make me go through this part, but I'ma need that money by Monday.